Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com and I had someone with a real question. They weren't trolling or mocking or anything, but they were really serious and they really felt this way about themselves that they couldn't be positive. They had tried it in the past and they couldn't be positive. You just don't understand how hard it is for them. They couldn't do it. Now the truth is that they could, but what happened was they let self-sabotage creep in and destroy their, their progress and their positivity because they would have a thought pop up that wasn't positive and instead of casting it down they then started beating themselves up over it talking about what a failure they were talking about how they just can't be positive it's not they're not cut out for it the world's too hard and all these excuses but here here's the simple thing you don't need to hurt yourself and beat yourself up over it and talk yourself down about how awful you are and all this stuff it's not true what happens is if those thoughts come in you cast them down you bring them into captivity every thought that it is against the knowledge of christ that's that simple and then you go back to rejoicing every more you go back to thinking about the things that are a good report the things that are positive things that are lovely the things that are just you focus on those things don't spend any time wallowing around in the negative thought don't spend any time wallowing around in your mentality about being a failure for having a negative thought. Just move on from it. Say, oh, well, that happened. And then go right back to positivity. Go right back to thinking about the things that are just. Go right back to thinking about things that are of good report. And if you'll do that enough, what you'll find is those negative thoughts start falling away. Because they're a product, partially, of just your own brain, not your mind, but your brain trying to protect you. And oftentimes it does that to keep you in the status where you are, not moving ahead, not falling back too much, because where you are right now, you're still alive. And that's really what the brain is focusing on. But you override that with your mind, which is not the brain, and you take control over those thoughts. And eventually, you start firing different neurons. Your brain starts realizing, wait, we don't need these thoughts coming in. We have these other thoughts, these uplifting thoughts that are pushing us to a higher level. And we're still doing great. We're not being harmed. And so the brain's objective of keeping you alive, which is basically what it's trying to do, is still attained. And it will slowly start wearing down that constant influx of negative thoughts and at some point you'll have very little to none but you're gonna have to be the one that takes control if you let your brain run wild and let random thoughts control you and defeat you you'll never have the victory but i'm telling you this is the victory overcome with the world even your faith you rise up in faith you see those thoughts they come up oh well i didn't want to think about that and then go right to thinking about the positive things that you want to think about. Don't wallow around in it. Don't talk about it. Don't tell other people what you don't want. Don't tell other people, well, I had this bad thought and I can't be positive and start talking yourself down to other people. Don't let yourself sabotage the positivity that you're bringing into the world, the light that you're shining, your high vibration mentality that you have because you are operating in faith. And as you keep doing that, you will reflect more and more the glory of God and those thoughts will start to disappear and eventually there'll be little to none of them at all. And if they do come up, they are so easily defeated, it is ridiculous. You're not going to feel bad. You're not going to beat yourself up. You're going to move on into positivity and you will have the victory each and every day. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.